let's specifically dig into that contextual bandits bit. Okay. Uh, I think a lot of people know what A-B testing is. Maybe we can use that to like ease in. What is yeah. like, you know, for me, A-B testing is like really obvious when you're thinking about it in the context of, uh, should we show a user interface that's blue or green? And yes. which one's going to get people to click on more ads or buy our product or whatever? Exactly. Um, that's right. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, what's, what's that like in the context of machine learning, uh, that kind of A-B testing? A, a B testing is A B testing, multivariate testing is is the gold standard for establishing, you know, like like whether something is, is sort of meaningfully better than something else or a meaningful improvement in some sense. Um there, there are, however, the, the sort of a cost that goes along with A B testing. Um the cost is that it takes a long time. It takes a long time to gather enough data to achieve the statistical significance that you're looking for. Um, and there are a lot of problems where Taking that time and making that investment is worthwhile and is definitely something you should do. Um, there's a lot of things that are like, you know, big deal decisions, right? That are that are not reversible. Um, for instance, like uh, you know, credit check stuff. Are you approving someone for a loan? Like these are these are big deal things. These are like these are heavyweight. And so improving the systems via A-B testing is the way to go. Um, there's a lot of other problems though, where like the A-B testing approach is kind of overkill. And, and the, the kind of classic one, I think, is like uh, content recommendations, recommending news articles for people to read, recommending episodes of, of your podcast to listen to. Um, no individual decision is like life or death, right? Like it's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world if someone gets like one bad recommendation out of 10 or something like that. Like the Netflix, the Netflix movie page is in, kind of in the same sort of boat, right? And so if you're in that regime, if you're in a world where like it's not a life or death decision, it's not all or nothing, you can use some techniques, including basically intentionally randomly injecting results, randomly injecting, you know, answers in order to um, much, much, much more rapidly sort of develop an understanding and improvement and figure out like um, the policies and the algorithms that will do a better job of recommending um, in a way that you, you can't in kind of other circumstances and stuff like that. So again, like identifying when A-B testing is the right thing to do and identifying when contextual bandits can like, I mean, and, and not just like a little faster, like you know, an order of magnitude or two, <laughs> like 10 times faster, 10 times less data is, is what we're talking about here with contextual bandits. Um, and so, yeah. And again, it's, it's one of the things like, it's, it's interesting to me, like contextual bandits are like everywhere at Google and Facebook and stuff and not generally out in, in sort of society at large, I don't think. Like we don't see nearly as many of them as I would, as I would expect given how useful they are, I think. Um, and this is just, again, something I kind of want to cover on the class is like, hey, this is, this is really, really cool, very, very useful stuff that is worth is worth having like in your toolkit for data for tackling data science problems. Yeah. Nice. So to try yeah. to summarize that back for you, and I'm probably gonna butcher this, but no, a contextual bandit is yeah. kind of like A B testing, but instead of having it be this like, oh, we're gonna give 50% of users A and 50% of users B, instead you have a circumstance where like showing people Netflix films, it isn't a matter of life or death, whether they <laughs> it's not yeah. like predicting a tumor in terms of yes. accuracy importance. So yes. you can insert in some random movies, some yep. random outputs, and that uh, that data point provides you an order of magnitude more quickly in in aggregate uh, with how to be optimizing your your platform or your machine learning decisions. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can you can sort of go back and and play back um, the data points and evaluate algorithms based on how well they would have like how well they would have matched the optimal choices. The the sort of standard way to do this would be to have like like a current best model that is doing it, and ninety percent of the time the current best model is allowed to make the recommendation. But then like ten percent of the time, we essentially randomly choose some items to recommend, and then we evaluate like how did what feedback do we get? Like did the person select? The best one or do they select like the randomly selected one and if they selected the randomly selected one well, that's really interesting that tells us there's something about the the quote best model that needs to be improved and so we can be continuously training on this data and again for like like a news articles is kind of a great example news articles change all the time like the zeitgeist changes all the time like when chat gpt happens we want to like immediately pivot all of our rec all of our recommended news articles to be about chat gpt um and contextual bandits give us the opportunity to make those very sort of fast adaptive pivots to new data when we see it that is again harder in a b testing where it's like i gotta wait a while i gotta see make sure the data is you know correct and stuff and so again when the stakes are lower 
making the decision faster has a tremendous amount of benefit. Anyway, yeah.